For months and months, COVID-19 has been disproportionately impacting communities of color. We know from the numbers with COVID that black Coloradans as well as Latino Coloradans have been hospitalized at higher rates than others. Even still, there are people of color saying no thank you to the COVID-19 vaccine. But you will not see a lot of uh, blacks ponying up initially to get in line saying, hooray, there's a vaccination because of distrust. It's not true for every black, Hispanic or Native American, but a Colorado Department of Public Health survey found 67% of Hispanic men and only 58% of black men in Colorado are willing to be vaccinated. And only 50% of Hispanic and black women are willing to get it. Um, in talking with them, I've had several discussions about, hey, I'm not gonna do this. Um, there's not enough data. Um, I know what they did with patients from Tuskegee. I'm not touching this. That and reluctance is why Dr. Oswaldo Granardo joined the Vaccine Equity Task Force. It's a Herculean effort just to overcome that mistrust. He'll be one of more than 30 people going out into Colorado communities to answer questions and hopefully earn more trust in the COVID-19 vaccine. The reasons for people not getting it are so many and varied. It's really talking to them about where is their hesitancy coming from? And how can we better address that through the data that I have and the relationships that we've built? For Nine News, I'm Lori Lizarraga. The task force is still trying to find the best places to access their target community safely, like community centers and churches. They are prioritizing messaging in several different languages as well.